So, take a second to pause and copy. We are talking about linear transformations again. Here we have a shear. S is a shear. R is a rotation. As we memorized earlier in the course. So this shear um, we'll say standard matrix is well, the shear is starting here, and then you, one of these is going to be a zero, and one of these is going to be a non-zero, but given what we know here, that's going to be the non-zero now, there. No, oh, that's how I have it memorized. And the rotation is this guy, and now we're going to call its corresponding standard matrix B. Rotation by pi over 2. So we got, uh, what do we got here? Cosine of pi over 2 is 0. Sine of pi over 2 is the 1, and you get a minus 1 and a 0. So again, I expect you to memorize shears and rotations and be able to quickly produce their standard matrices. So I'm going to compose, I'm going to find a composition, the composed transformation. So what do I need by, mean by a composed transformation? Well, we have R composed with S. Now, we did, we did composed functions in Cal 1. That's when you were looking at chain rule. But here, I just want you to remember that what is meant by this little circle here is uh, is a transformation that when applied to a vector x uh, what it does is it applies s first and then r second that's a little bit paradoxical, not paradoxical, but a bit confusing. Okay, in English, we read left to right, usually. Uh, usually. <laughs> in English, we read left to right. But here, it's actually S that comes first. Okay, S is the first transformation to hit my X. Remember that. Okay, so I'm going to use matrix multiplication. to find the standard matrix for this transformation here. Now, I'm going to remember what I just said here. Okay, the decomposed transformation it is a transformation that should first do S, okay, apply S to X, and then afterwards apply R. So this standard matrix for the composition Well, it's going to be a it's going to be a transformation. In the end, I want a transformation that does S first. Okay, so S is the first thing that happens. So if I have a you know if I have a vector here x one x two, okay, the first matrix to hit it is going to be S. Okay, so I should be putting my matrix. A here. Okay, so what will happen is that if I have a vector x and I want to evaluate this, I'll be doing this matrix times this vector first, and then the result I will multiply by my uh, matrix here, which is the matrix that represents R. So perhaps a little bit confusing. But in the end, this is what we get. Okay, this bit here was just for me to uh, help keep straight which matrix should go first, and it does matter. So here's my 
standard matrix for the composition, and I work it out. And what do I get? Five minus one, one and zero. Do, 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 do. And voila. Okay, so this composition of linear transformations can be done in more than one way. And what I've shown you here is how to do it by using matrix multiplication.